The following contest is an eight-man ladder match and is for the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenge. Ooh, ooh, Byron, the results speak for themselves. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're in the fireworks, don't touch... Representing the Hurt Business from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. 190 pounds, the Animal Batista! We can list this man's accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main event from parts unknown. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Bray Wyatt! Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one... Tonight, Vader with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. And representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunter! Look at the pure determination on his face. It's determination and confidence, Cole, because Gunther knows exactly how good he is. Gunther knows he is on another level. Fireworks in this upcoming match. He showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Weighing in at 275 pounds, the Ultimate Warrior. A Samoan bulldozer is on the warpath. 
And from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga! In terms of look at it, Thorios from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at... And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, the Superstar! As the title gets into position here, let me remind everybody that the only way to win this match is to climb the ladder and grab the gold. That's right. No pinfalls, no... I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. And representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200... He's a WWE legend. And from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds. Yeah, Del Toro is called the technical assassin of Legato Del Fantasma. And representing Legato Del Fantasma. This on ruthless. And representing Legato Del Fantasma from Chicago, Illinois, with 10 five pounds. Angel! A third generation superstar, a former cruiserweight champion, and the biggest heartbreaker since HBK. Yeah, a truly lethal Lothario. This champion contest is a tag team tables, ladders, and chairs match and is for the Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers. First, from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan likes to say, watch me. Well, she's about to get what she wants because tonight it's all eyes on her. Indeed, we're going to watch Liv Women's Division. And she's got double the proof you need. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Come on, let's go. Let's go. A look of confidence. Opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great.
Shut up, Saxton. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team ladder match. And is for... <laughs> These two dudes genuinely entertain me more than just about anybody. And their opponents, first at a combined weight of 400. Added group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. Making their way to the ring. And a the Vikings have arrived. Summoned from Valhalla, they are ready for battle. And their opponent, 482 pounds, Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Big match headed our way. These teams about to compete for the Raw Tag Titles. These teams and the WWE Universe better be ready for anything. is as hot as it's ever been. And it's due to teams like these, the champions and challenger. Without a doubt, the Raw Tag Team Championship is the top tag title in all of WWE right now. Raw's tag teams prove it every year at Survivor Series. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 448 pounds. The opportunity for these teams. Either the champions solidify their legacy in a thrilling title defense or the challengers level up and become the new Raw Tag Team Champions. This will have major ramifications in the Raw Tag Team division.
And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. And their opponents at a combined weight of 478 pounds. They are the Raw Tag Team Champions. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. Introducing the challenger, representing the judgment. And introducing the champion from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, she is the WWE Women's World Challenger from Osaka, Japan. Let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. How can I forget? I've been looking forward to this match for a long time. And introducing the champion, representing Damage Control from Tokyo, Japan. She is the WWE. The following contest is a triple threat, tables, ladders, and chairs match, and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Introducing the challenger, the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Summon Reigns. The leader of the bloodline has arrived. And introducing the champion, representing the Shield from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the undisputed. <laughs> A top elite level competitor all over the globe. And after all these years, a veteran who hasn't lost any of his edge. Shinsuke is battle tell of WWE. And introducing the challenger, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. Ben. Man has an impressive resume. Plenty of championship reigns. It's Seth freaking Rollins. A man who has spent a decade atop WWE with the accolades to prove it. before joining WWE, trained by Booker T. Ah! You can't judge her by the behind the miss. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice! Oh, 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 what a blessed evening it has already become. We are... Your stuff. And from Buffalo, 
Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix has key in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. A woman with all the gold. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, the WWE Women's World. And their opponent from the Pacific Islands, the WCW Women's Champion, Tamina! The following contest is an eight-man ladder match. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California. The following contest is a triple threat. Tables, ladders, and chairs match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship introducing the challenger Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, the Superstar. Some would say the Superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun, heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> that is horrible advice. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga! The challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Sunred Fang pounds. From the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! Yokozuna is a multiple-time WWE Champion in 1993, the winner of the Royal Rumble match. And from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi! Not only an all-time great, but the father of Jimmy and Jey Uso, the real person responsible for their tag team prowess, Saxton. And their dance moves, too. Hey, guys. Main event, and Jey Uso. Representing the from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, one half of the W in the women's division. And she's got double the proof you need. The following contest is the Money in the Bank ladder match. To win this match, up to that moniker thus far. And from Utah, Zoe Stark. And representing Legato del Fantasma from Queens, New York, Queen Zen comes the role model. And representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Lita. You know, so many of today's top women's arrived. And from 
Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds. You are looking at one of the most vicious strikers this industry has ever known. He kicks like lightning. To the Emperor. Of Lucha Libre. And representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at the Bruiser of the Brawling Brutes. And representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. Bush! New York, weighing in at 249 pounds. The Superstar! I think this superstar is actually happy to risk their own career to help someone out. I am weighing in at 185 pounds. Logan Paul! We knew he was a social media phenomenon, but I don't think any of us ever imagined the aptitude Logan Paul... Ah, the dirtiest of dogs! The show off! And representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Million Dollar Champion, Dolph Ziggler! Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Month after month, the preaching is the same. Dolph Ziggler truly believes no one can hang on his level. Uh, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. The following contest is an eight-man ladder match. And is for the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the Superstar. The Money in the Bank contract is set, and we're ready to go here. You call it a contract, Cole. I call it a winning lottery ticket. It's not very often you actually get a chance to hold a winner in your hands. But tonight, one of these superstars will do just that. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. The Prince has arrived 
and is more lethal than ever. Hey, a sense of pure animosity to him. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations yeah. also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Well, Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. One of the most beloved superstars in WWE, Matt Riddle. One of the toughest, too. And representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Don't let the scooter fool you. Matt Riddle was a top mixed martial arts talent before arriving in WWE. Devastating strikes, brutal submissions, and he's added some high-flying attacks. Riddle can beat you in so many ways. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're in the fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, Cowboy style. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. And Brock's double-digit world title reigns should be all the proof you need. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Tonight has just become almighty. And per normal, Lashley is ready for a fight. And representing the Hurt Business from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. We've seen it so many times when that bell rings. Bobby Lashley flips a switch. And on display, we witness his frightening yeah. intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating. 
shifting gears now. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? The animal has arrived. And from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista. We can list this man's accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main evented WrestleMania. And now Batista simply demands that the WWE Universe give him what he wants. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Make way for the double champ. And from parts unknown, weighing in at 285 pounds, Bray Wyatt. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great.
Weighing in at 270 pounds, he is the WCW Heavyweight Champion, Goldberg! Oh, look around right now. You can feel it. The entire WWE Universe anticipating Goldberg's display of dominance. You're right about that, Saxton, save one exception. The man standing across the ring from Goldberg. He's not excited. He's next. The ring is packed as this eight-way match gets started here. There will be seven losers and one very big winner. This is almost like a seven-on-one handicap match. There are no allegiances that you can rely on in a match like this. And out of the ring he goes. Delivering the suplex. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Caught square by the so many moving parts. How can a superstar move quickly while making sure they have a clear path up the ladder? You have to try to manage the carnage so that everyone's disabled with the rings clear so the ladder can be set up to climb. You have to move fast, but you cannot overlook your opponents, and you definitely cannot stop to admire your work. Yeah, don't waste a single second on anything that isn't a moment or the prize atop the ladder. You can enjoy the highlights later.
Omos back into the ring. Great. He is doing whatever he can to break the ball. And he does. Goldberg looking to end this. Oh, man. Jack him. I think the champ's got it. So confident is Batista. He thinks he's got this one on Soto. And did you hear the impact of that?
finish the job. The Almighty can impose his will by just giving the look he's displaying right now.